sport's interesting because it was the car that turned Range Rover from utilitarian into fashion, from farmer to footballer in, in, a, in, in a space of a year. And, and it's the car that probably made Range Rover fashionable. And now it's moved on a step. What the Range Rover has that the others don't is the terrain response, because what you can do with the Range Rover off-road, you probably couldn't do with a Cayenne or an X5 or an X6. It now feels like the badge sport is appropriate because it's got a little more, you know, a little more of an aggressive line to it. Our readers are, are really concerned about efficiency, fuel efficiency, and that's probably the, the biggest gain uh, uh, of the, the aluminium construction. Saving half a ton is, is, a, is a huge deal, um, and it should, you'll feel it in every respect. Because saving weight is, it makes a big difference with the fuel, it makes a difference with the handling, everything can be made smaller and lighter, the brakes, the suspension. Occasional third row of seats is something that's been in the pipeline for, it seems like, forever. So it's good to finally see it. There's no doubt that it, it looks a very efficient execution in terms of the way they stow away right into the boot floor, leave you with a perfectly normal boot when they're not being used. For a £1,500 option to be able to have seven seats for that occasional when you're on Dad's taxi service, that sort of thing, that's going to be a must-have option for me. Torque vectoring is, is a technology that we're more familiar with from road cars like the Jaguars. It actually breaks the wheels on the inside and just kind of pulls you into the corner a bit tighter. So those kind of technologies will help make the car feel smaller and lighter than it really is. The noise of a V8 is, is an important thing for piston head readers. They, they love a V8 that sounds like a proper V8 and it sounds like they've worked on that. They've introduced some new technology to make the engine noise filter through to the cabin. So if they've managed to make that noise sound authentic, they'll be happy. And they're even talking to me about uh, Norse Life um, lap times. I've never heard Land Rover talk about Norse Life lap times, and I, the time I heard was competitive and almost matched a Porsche KN Turbo. And for a Land Rover product, that's a real step change. To get a three litre diesel in this car, the SD uh, V6, 292 horsepower, and then to record a 0 6 times 6.9 seconds, and to have 30 plus MPG, best of all worlds really and uh, five to ten years ago you would never believe you'd get that from an off-roader and here it is.